Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. It's uh, almost close to downtime right now, but I wanted to show you guys something that I've been meaning to test for a long time or show off to you guys for a long time. And that is using the Skybreaker in these general anomalies that you find in HiSec. So we're going to actually go and have to go in local. You can see there's a lot of reds here. I want to be careful because this is a pretty expensive ship. So we do not want to like take this lightly because we will potentially get ganked if we just chill in AFK. Because the thing is, the Skybreaker, you know, it got buffed not a whole long time ago. So if we go and try to use this to be able to just destroy these anomalies, it'll potentially go very quickly. And since this is a frigate, it'll be able to go between the systems very quickly as well. So that'll be very nice, like compared to, for example, like Cruiser, it'll have a faster warp speed. Oh, look at these guys just spamming in the chat. Oh, these scrubs, they really don't have any life. <laughs> but we'll still have to keep local up, irregardless of their spam, because... We need to keep an eye in case there are red people nearby. But we'll be going here and continue to the local systems and look for some of these anomalies. I did test this out a bit and it was working decently well. It was working decently well in a refuge at least. It went really fast. You can just go and blitz the whole the whole site very quickly because those ten uh, those ten uh, targets that the Voton projectors can go to it really helps a lot. So we're doing 109 DPS right now, and if we hit ten targets, potentially 1k DPS is being applied, and it's also pretty good applied DPS as well, since the it's like a frigate weaponry we've got going on right here. And the good thing about the Skybreaker is that it has enough fitting and capacitor. Or oh, I've got a lot of capacitor modules right here. But it has enough fitting to have a medium shield booster. And you can get some decent amount of shield recharge right here. I mean, 54. And I'm not using any implants that boost my shield boosting capabilities. We've got a Tech 2 multi-spec on. We've got some decent tank as well. Cruiser level tank, almost like a low average cruiser level Gila tank. So we're pretty tanky. And we also have pretty good DPS as well. So overall, a pretty strong ship right here. Okay, but there are no interesting NPCs near uh, or like refuges or something like that. We want to go for a refuge. I think refuges will be fun to do. Let's go to Jose uh, Hikota maybe. Let's go here. And Sila. Let's go and see if we can find some refuges. Snipe them really quickly. I think the Skybreaker looks pretty cool as well. It is, I think, in my opinion, it's probably... At the same level as the Thunder Child. I think the Thunder Child and the Skybreaker both look really good. Uh, Stormbringer, I think, looks also quite good, but not as good as the Storm as the Thunder Child and the Skybreaker, like the Cruiser variant. I think it's just looked too straight, like it's got just too too long. Where it's a little bit too much for me. I feel like the Skybreaker and the Thunder Child are a bit more balanced in their appearance. Refuge, perfect. Let's warp here at ten kilometers. Activate our modules. There we go. Got some decent tank. So we have to be obviously wary. We don't want to, we never want to sit still. This is always the potential for ganks. We just want to be very alert, you know, very alert. We've got some decent speeds too. 1.1k a second with a tech 2 afterburner. Pretty decent right there. So we're going to be not only having good tank, but also have a good ability to speed tank as well. So we're going to want to move here a little bit. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to go for one of these light missile batteries here. Oh, see that? I think we already triggered the second spawn too. <laughs> Look at that. So cool. And we're going to be hitting all these stupid junk around here because we've got the 10 targets. So it'll be good. We'll be able to nuke those junk all over the place because it can hit these small structures too. And that is very annoying because it will be like, you know, making it so that we have to... A lot of shots are wasted. Oh, look at that. We're already on like the last wave, I think. Wow, this is actually pretty effective. Pretty damn effective. <laughs> look at this. Whoa, this is so good. So this seems to be a PvE activity that the Eden Coma are at least very good at. The, uh, doing these refuges. Now, the only thing that really is the main issue is that they are pretty expensive ships. So, <laughs> oh my god, that was so fast. <laughs> How fast was that? That was like 20 seconds or something like that. We did a refuge in, man. Th if this had a high slot, this would be perfect for an exploration or combat exploration platform. Because we would just go around and just nuke these, absolutely annihilate these refuges right here. Oh, that was a lot better than I expected because I have previously tried this, but I used Tech 1 modules because the price was absolutely crazy when the 
update was newly released, you know, with the Vortum projectors. So I had to use Tech 2, Tech 1 ones, and it wasn't at all as good as the Tech 2 damage mods right here. But we can go to, I guess, these hideaways. Let's do some hideaways. I don't think hideaways will be as good because I don't think there are a lot of NPCs, like max NPCs there, because it, we're best utilizing the Vortum projector when there's like a lot of small NPCs on grids. Because if there's maybe two at a time, then we'll only be using two of our potential target 10 targets so it'll be a lot to uh, waste okay but this is a lot better than i expected really good dps right okay there's a refuge in otuni let's go to otuni yeah we don't want to do this crap one right here because this is not going to be that great look at this one npc may as well just use like a kestrel with light missiles it'll be as much dps essentially when there's a one target here but it's really cool like we get a good application and we get uh, like good application with potentially 1k dps in this little frigate if everything hits so that's really nice really nice and it also looks really good i like it when good ships perform well i think this is faster than even a hecate to be honest the only thing is a hecate can you know scan stuff down while we can't scan down stuff when we're using the uh, the skybreaker it is uh, it seems like it would be really good to use this for doing these combat explorations to grind through these low level anomalies Ooh. and our tank was not even being scratched there so we're very overkill in our tank as well if we really wanted to do this really fast what we could maybe do is just do hyperspatial velocity optimizers to get good warp speed and then maybe put a little bit less tank that would be so cool so we always want to be moving here always want to be moving here because we do not want to get some stupid ganks coming in here so we always want to be moving here and a little bit wary of our surroundings so i'm shooting these uh like missile batteries just to take out stuff and so that i don't have to switch target as much okay good you can see here just knocking out these <laughs> this is so good this is what I feel like all Eden comms should feel like when you're using them to do these anomalies. But it's unfortunately not the case. In like the Abyss, it can be very awkward when you encounter the battleship waves. And then you go with the Thunder Child doing ratting. You can have very slow site completion times when the stuff likes to just, you know, chill around and kite. Look how fast that was right there. Basically, like. 20 30 seconds again oh wow this is so good let's go to this drone cluster over here maybe there'll be something over there i wonder how i'm doing a den to be honest den oh there's a den let's do a den let's do a den exactly what i wanted and we're warping ah i wonder if we can finish this den before downtime because there's only six minutes left but maybe we could well we have the tank definitely i think we have the tank to be able to take on a den dens have obviously more dps than we do in a classical refuge but you know what this would be really good at in a den if there was a den there's because there's two variants of a den if it was the mass frigate den because the mass frigate den there's two variants you've got the mass frigate den where there's a bunch of frigates and you've also got a den where there's a bunch of cruisers and I think in the mass frigate den, it'll be amazing because this will then do a lot of damage to those guys because, you know, basically almost one tap them and you'll be more fully utilizing your max lock targets. And I'm wondering, maybe this would be better to use this. No. OK, this is just as good in the Garistas as well as the Amarian type of pirates because we're doing equal amount of kinetic and EM damage. But if we were more, there are certain ammo types that are a little bit more biased towards like EM, I've noticed. So then it would be better to go for like, you know, Blood Raiders, Sanchez, those kind of people. But, oh, this is amazing. And this Imagine doing this for Sanchez 3 out of 10s, actually. Those little uh, DED sites that have... Uh, like lots of frigates that could probably be very good oh i think this is actually the max uh, ma the mass frigate then this is uh, maybe even the mass frigate then oh let's see how this goes this is gonna be fun <laughs> oh this is gonna be so fast <laughs> come on come on now i think we have to take out these light missile batteries to trigger the next spawn actually start shooting these light missile battery yeah, it's getting, taking a lot of hits right there. Okay, no, this is not the mass uh, frigate spawn. You can see there's cruisers going on right here. But it's still some damage going on. That is decent. That is decent. And we need to take out... Oh, you see the destroyers just got nuked right there. It's disappeared from the grid. Let's see. Can we do this before downtime? Can we do this before downtime? It'd be fun to do this before downtime. 
Uh, these guys are almost dead. Their shields is their main HP in these guys. Ooh. Let's see what we get in the next spawn. I wonder if we will destroy Rex. That will be quite annoying if we destroy Rex. But I don't think we are destroying any Rex. Because then I think it would have been destroyed a long time ago. Let's go for the highest HP targets. I think is best. Okay, we went for the frigate there. But it would have been... We should probably go for the... The cruisers, so that we don't have to switch off with all the frigates already dead. Man, this is so good. But if this was the mass frigate, then this would be absolutely amazing. I think we maybe want to finish the site by now, to be honest. And like tank, absolutely no issue. We've got so good tank, and not only have we got a good tank, but also speed tanking like a boss with a 1k plus a second AB. Oof. Start shooting these guys here. Maybe shoot the cruiser, you know, to get it, all the no having to switch between them when these guys get hit popped. Tengu. Ooh, Tengu. Maybe he wants to run some sites too. I think this will maybe be faster than a Tengu though. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Tengu is very beastly. But uh, we'll definitely at least be able to clear the mass, like small frigates, really fast. Let's see. Now, can we destroy this den? We've got some more ships right here. There we go. Last wave, I think this is. And we've got like less than two minutes left before downtime. Will we complete it before downtime? This would have been, as I said before, a lot faster if we had those, you know, mass frigate waves. But these cruisers go down a bit slow, you know. But still, still, it is, uh, it is very satisfying doing this kind of stuff. Seeing all those frigates just disappear really good oh and the ecm as well kind of counters the ecm a bit as well since we're still doing damage even though they are ecming me <laughs> get wrecked gilas oh these garists guys look at all these npcs we've destroyed we've been doing a lot of damage here a lot of damage oh the cruise is already down only two more left Still, like, they're so clutched together in these refuges and dens. Yeah, there we go. We finished the den before downtime. And great. Oh, the Skybreaker is just so good at this. This I feel like this will be my new anomaly grinding ship. Uh, at least when the prices go down. Because it will be a lot more chill if the prices of this won't too crazy. Now, I am using a little bit of a bling medium shield boost right here. It costs like 60 million. But overall, it's just tech 2, really. Tech 2... Tech 2, Tech 2. Uh, the only thing is that these things here cost a lot. And this frigate in itself is a very expensive module. And also this Vorton projector is also very expensive. I don't think the frigate costs a whole lot if we go here. View market. Yeah, okay. It's 100 million, but still. I think it's the Vorton projector that's worth a lot. Go here. 65 million potential drops for gankers right there. But there we go. We have now uh, succumbed to the downtime. We could probably dock up is a good idea so we don't sit here floating while we have this server shut down but i'm very happy with this i'm very happy with the skybreaker for these low tier anomalies i didn't expect it to be that good when switching over to the tech 2 damage modules because this is the first time i've ever tried this with tech 2 damage modules but i was really impressed right here you guys should also check this out if you can afford it because it was just so satisfying <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later